Hello, stellar people, and welcome to Artist Bootcamp for Beginners. Today is Sunday, the 25th, and it's part of our freestyle weekend, which is leading into our freestyle week. Welcome to Draw Along, and let's do this thing. I'm raring to go. So because today's thing is fantasy, I'm working on this fantasy skull knight that I have in my mind. I'm trying to work this out. I'm trying to work this out. And one thing I was trying to do was think about this, this rib cage. And I thought, oh, this is, this is kind of like what football, American football players wear. And so I was like, oh, but I didn't know the logistics of that. So of course, I go to the internet and I find such things. And I didn't even know that there was variations. I thought they were pretty much all the same, but hey, here we are. So this is a football outfit. And there's the helmet, the shoulder pads, jersey, thigh pads, knee pads, and cleats. We don't need the cleats, but the feet should be protected because this is all armor. It's black, black on black with uh, metal, I would kind of say like what? brushed steel highlights to accentuate the, the skeleton of this the knight. So with this now, we can kind of apply this sort of, even if we don't use this, right? It's always good to take a look at why, <laughs> what it, you know, what, why, why would they make this? They need to be protected in certain places and you have to think, okay, so they need to be protected in certain places. My knight needs to be protected in certain places from battle. So let's get into it. So we have our, our mock-up. We have all this reference and stuff. But what I want to do now is Take these two, command T. Now we're going to put this off to the side. To the side. Because I think we got what we need. And so, so now that I know what I want to do, here is this blown up and the mock-up that we did. Scale down and put to the side. So we're, we'll play with it and see. Here we go. So I'm thinking I want more or less the full. I will go to the eyedropper tool and you can pick various places on the figure if you want that color or value. So if I want a dark value, I can go to the dark area. If I want a light, I can go to the light area and it'll grab that. And then I can hit the B for the brush tool and paint in that color. Fill this guy out just a little bit. But it's all push and pull. And I think I want the full. Or more of the full skull. I think. I'm not sure about any of this, but this is what where I'm going right now. And say. Some of this. But we're just playing with it. Just playing. Eyedropper. Let's go to some of that dark. So 
So it's all about push and pull. If you like something, and sometimes it won't work, but sometimes, do I want the lower, the mandible part? Or do I want to make, say, there's a part on the helmet that you can, you know, clips like silver teeth to it. So and say it's, you know, an add on. That might be cool. But we're just playing with it. percent strength on this brush which is making them darker just to make them pop a little bit and then we can erase out So say some areas are darker than others. You do what you gotta do to get something that you, something that you like. And sometimes it won't happen and you gotta move on. You try and you try. This is fun, or at least it's fun for me. Hopefully you're working on your own projects to increase your enjoyment because sometimes watching other people draw just makes me go, I wanna draw. <laughs> so you could do that as well. for the this is the cape right now because all villains have to have great capes that's one of the best parts about Star Wars is that the villains have their cape game is on point and I love that it's the best part about being on the dark side <laughs> I got this kick ass cape <laughs> sword I think would be something 
it's made of crystal, but for this one, I'd say about a purple. Maybe a gonna go. Because who doesn't think a purple blade would be awesome? <laughs> uh. Okay, back. Back to my darts. What was I doing? Let's give the undersides of some of these things. Sound definition. And then we'll start erasing out. So he's got, say, armor that is, you know, put together in a way that it looks, I want it to be sleek, but not, not incredibly bulky and also stylish. Which is pretty fun, it's just it takes time. And uh, I'm a, an iterative artist. Some people can do it in one take. I am not that guy. I can do take after take until I get what I want. And sometimes as like work that you did years ago, you look at it again and go, I, I could do better than this. And so that means you have to, to redraw it in something. Um, all right, let's do some erasing as part of the tightening process. But ultimately, it doesn't matter the steps you take to get to something that you can be proud of. They won't all be great, but you can 
hopefully get to a point where you're like, yeah, that looks good. Even if you look at it tomorrow and go, eh. <laughs> Because one of the cool parts is that I, I feel growth if I look at old art and go, eesh, yikes. That's, that was, <laughs> was that my best? That was when I was trying? And, uh, and that is growth. Anytime you look at old art, and you can go, yeah, I could do better than that. That's a great, great feeling. <laughs> now let's turn the eraser down to, uh, let's say, 50%. Mm, maybe 40. Let's get out of these. Some of this. To make it look like bone. Which is protective bits of metal. And I think it looks kind of interesting looking. Now, what is start of me? Maybe. something along the shin. And of course the patella, because of course you need that shin protection, right? Even football players have knee pads. So give them some protection. exactly sure about the articulation but we're just expanding on what we know Something like this. Mm -hmm. 
course across the hands. Because the hands has a lot, a lot of little bones. And of course your hands would need a lot of protection. What well, would need protection? From getting hacked to pieces as you're trying to get to your enemies. And maybe the, the digits, the ends, the fingertips would actually be like all, all metal. Maybe. Maybe. Eyedropper tool with eye, pick a spot, go back to the brush tool, and let's, let's paint some more. Now at the end, there's a lot of uh, touch-ups take a long time, but a lot of times you don't exactly see the result. Like it'll look the same as what you did two hours ago. And some of that is noodling, right? I can noodle at this all day, but Sometimes you're making progress, but you can't quite see it. Erase a tool. I increased to fifty percent of erasing strength. Maybe. Uh, brush tool. B for the brush tool. Maybe the arch would have more dark parts. And you just see the the steel on the that represents the toes and the heel, maybe. Maybe. Eraser tool. 
I'm just working all over. Whatever I see that needs some, some TLC, I go there. This is a fluid process. And anything else? The eraser. So I'm adding art, I'm adding right now lightest lights and darkest darks, which can help an image to pop. And by pop, I mean, you know, distinguishing this in front of this, this as a cohesive, I don't know if I explained it at all well, but sometimes when it comes together, it pops. It's almost like an aha moment, but for, for pictures where you're like, ah, oh, okay, I got it, I got it now. And some images never get to that point, but such as life. Selabi. I could do this all day. to use black black and white white I mean pure black and pure white as the very last stages it's usually some kind of uh, off black like a dark gray or an off white what was that okay bottom teeth. Now I'm not so sure. sure. Mm, let's take a look. Hold up, hold up. What you can do is this. Command Z for the undo, which is unusual for, uh, you know, it's great for computer work, but dangerous in real life. 
because real life doesn't have an ending. You must live with the consequences. And that can be sometimes hard to do. could be a place for the ears and whatnot. And then the face would come in a little bit, right, with a jawline. Maybe. Back to the brush tool. Better or worse, I don't know. like I might be noodling and that's not great. You want to go with the purpose. A noodle is indecision. You want to be decisive unless you're just playing around. I think play is very important. some of the final touches for now I'll probably look at it tomorrow and go Oof. which is just how it goes sometimes and maybe the toes have the same The same thing is as the fingers where the ends are of a metal.
brush tool. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. So they've got like steel tips on their fingers. Let's go for some dark darts. And then we'll call it a day. And then we'll call it a day. No, I usually have music going on when I'm just drawing for myself, but because I'm talking and I don't want to get distracted. But I think music puts me in a, a place, a state of mind. Or it can be a distraction. Okay, I need to wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. I just. I think that's about uh, wrong color. And I do this all the time where I, I go back on what I thought was all right. Yeah, I want it to look like there's a helmet 
and then the skull is inside the helmet. Eyedropper. Eye final definitions at least for today I'll probably sleep on it but sometimes I don't know when I'll get back to I'll get back to a piece This or do I like this? Do I like this or do I like this? This or do I like this? Let's do this. You could also, I guess, have certain flares. So say if you wanted like the edges to be fangs. That would be interesting. If say each person in the army could personalize their helmet to reflect, I don't know, something that they think is cool. while also menacing their enemies. Just thoughts. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, yeah. Should we call it a day? This is what I'm talking about when I say uh, just sitting down is the hardest part. Because once you get started, it's hard to stop. Okay, okay, we're done, we're done. We're, we're done. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, all right, all right. All right, so let's, <laughs> oh gosh. Let's take a look at the schedule before I start noodling. So today was February 25th. Freestyle, I was gonna say 24th, but that's not today. It's today. Okay, so February 25th, end of fantasy freestyle. 
Tomorrow we go into Monday the 26th, which is again a draw what you like session. This is the workout, more fun, right? Try implementing things that you learn from here into here, but this is the fun stuff. So, you know, again, draw whatever you like. For myself, I'm not sure what I'm going to draw, but again, it's for fun, so whoopee. And so thank you for joining me for this workout onesie drawing session. And I'll see you on the next episode. Take care.